whatever our limitations, is admirable enough. But exceeding all expectations and making a difference, that's what makes a hero. I'm William Shatner. Tonight, true stories of danger, courage, and real heroes on Rescue 911. We begin in a dark room in Northern California on the night of December 31st, 1987. That was a lot of his life was what he had in his apartment. The music, his guitars and things, his little studio with his equipment. Recording was his life. Good boy, huh? Though blind since birth, 34-year-old Felix Bannon has always been independent. He's lived alone in the same apartment for the past two years with his guide dog, Valdez. Fourteen other people were living in the six-unit building. Most were already asleep that night when Felix returned home from the corner store. It was 2.30 in the morning. Probably nobody was awake. And, geez, I remember it being really cold and thinking to myself, boy, I wish I was someplace warmer. Being as cold as it was, I had decided that I would turn on my heater and see if I could get the room that I was in warm enough without using the big main apartment heater. And so I chose to use my little space heater, which was in the room. Oh, Dad's get in here. I just turned on the heater. Valdez was laying in his bed. He just was kicked back, and I was in my pajamas about to go to sleep, and I started talking on the phone. Oh, no, I just, uh, I don't know, I just got in. I just got back in the store and thought I'd return it. Suddenly, the heater shut off. That's where the heater just went off. I thought something was real strange because I had turned it up higher than that. It shouldn't have shut off that quick. I didn't smell anything. As I shut the heater off, I thought to myself, there has to be something really wrong here. And as I reached down to the wall to unplug it, I got about six, eight inches away. And I heard a, a rushing noise of fire. With my light perception, I could tell that it was pretty bright. There was no way I could have put it out. I grabbed the phone and I called 911. A dispatcher picked up the call reporting a fire at 2.26 a.m. The voice on the other end had barely gotten out the address when it disappeared. All right, sir, that's an apartment. What apartment number is that? Hello? Hello, sir? When we continue. I knew Fred was a heavy sleeper because of his medication.